Okay, I'm recording this video for a friend, but I figure I share it with everybody, because why not? And I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna create a virtual server for this, so I'm working from a very you know basic system rather than doing it on a system I already have set up. Uh, and I'm using Vulture uh, services I'm not making any money from that. This, this is just who I use for my servers. And the reason I do is because it only costs me $2.50 a month, although that sale seems to be over and it's $5 a month. But I'm going to spin up a server here real quick. I'm going to go to so, uh, vulture.com and uh, create an account. Click deploy new server. I'm going to choose a location. I'm in Florida, so I'm just going to click a server closest to me. I'm going to choose a Debian server. I'll do Debian 8 64 bit. Again, the $2.50 uh, sale is over, so it's gonna cost me 0 .007 cents an hour. Uh, so let's try to do this video in less than an hour. How about that? Uh, so I'm gonna choose that. The only other special features, I'll give it a name and I'll just call it photo sorter, whatever. It doesn't really matter for this. And click deploy. That's all you have to do. It's gonna take probably less than two minutes and I'm gonna have a Debian server that I can log into. So what are we gonna be doing with this server? We're going to be using two scripts that I've created in the past. Uh, this one here, which is a PHP slash HTML script, uh, which allows you to upload files. And I just wanna be uh, aware, I'm showing you how these script works. I'm gonna set up the server, then remove it. So, so, <laughs> but I'm not gonna be working on any login information. This script right here allows whatever user has access to it to upload whatever files they want. There's no restrictions on file type, file size, or anything of that nature, and I'm not going over any, uh, you know, creating user accounts and logging in. Uh, that's all separate information. Um, but that's what we're gonna go over. So this file is not very big, and that will create our, our uploadable script. And then once the files are uploaded, uh, my buddy wants to be able to sort the images based on address. So this is a script I wrote here. It's a little bash script uh, that takes an image, grabs the GPS information from it if it's available, asks Google for the street address, then we'll create a folder called photos. And inside that fo folder, it will create a folder based on the street name and then another folder inside that that's based on the numerics of the address and then put the image in there. So we'll sort all images by the, uh, by the address. Let's go back to our little server here and our Debian server is up and running. So now I can click on this and uh, right here, this is where you get your password. You can copy it and uh, without looking at it. And then once you log in, you wanna change it, but I'm gonna delete the server anyway. So I'm just gonna copy that. You can click on this little uh, console here and get a login shell, uh, but I can't, I don't think I can resize that. I'd much rather just use a real shell. So again, coming here, I'm actually gonna need the IP address because I don't have a domain pointing at this address yet, but I'm gonna say SSH and by default, I'm gonna log in as, as root. Now, again, if you're actually setting up a virtual server, uh, you're gonna to want to go in there, uh, create a new user, disable root login, best practice. But again, I'm not going over the security of it. I'm just going to setting up these scripts. So I'm gonna hit enter. I'm gonna type in yes, because it's my first time logging in. And again, I'm going to copy and paste my password. That should work. There we go. I'm logged into a brand new Debian install on this server. So at this point, let's go ahead and do some install stuff. So I'm root, so I don't have to type sudo for anything in here, but I'm gonna say apt and I'm gonna say update. And just do a quick update, which should just take a second. I'm going to say apt uh, install. I'm going to say PHP 5, which will also install Apache 2 for me. I'm going to hit enter on that. And that should just take a second. And when that is done, I can now grab that IP address, put it in my web browser, and we have a web server up and running. Perfect. So that web server is going to be under your var www dot, or sorry, forward slash HTML. And so that's the HTML file we're looking at. I'm just going to remove that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a directory called uploaded, and I'm gonna change its permissions to 777, because uh, you need to have the permissions proper for being able to upload to that folder, and it needs seems to be need full permission. Uh, gonna clear the screen here real quick. Okay, now it's time to download our first script. And there'll be links in the description of this video to all these scripts. So here's my PHP code. I'm just gonna copy the URL. And inside my web server here, I'm gonna say wget 
that link and I'm going to say output index dot h or actually php. And now if we refresh our browser that's pointing at the server, we have this upload screen. And at this point, I can say choose a file and I can choose this little script allows you to upload multiple files. And again, there seems to be no restrictions as far as the script goes. Uh, I have found that uh, the, virtu uh, the virtual server that I'm running uh, seems to be limitations. If I try to upload a bunch of files all at once, it, it doesn't work uh, in large numbers. So uh, you'll want to check what your server is allowed to do. And if you have to upload a bunch of files, uh, you may want to rewrite the script to kind of do one at a time. Uh, so that's just a server thing, doesn't have to do with the script. I'm going to choose five of those files. I'm going to say upload. It should only take a second. We got those files there. And now I'm going to upload the second half and say upload. So that is how you can upload the files. And you can do that from a mobile device, anything, anything with a modern web browser. Now, those, all those, full, all those uh, images should have gone into our uploaded folder that we created. And here they are. You can see them. And I can click on them and view them. My kids at the mall my son at Wendy's, my wife and I out for a walk. So they're all there. Now let's work on the script that is going to sort all these images for us. So that would be this script here. Again, there'll be a link in the description. There are a few things we need to install. I need to install uh, the EXIF tools, which allows uh, a tool to grab information from an image, such as the GPS coordinates. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna say apt install EXIF tools. Now that's installed. Now I'm going to pull this uh, file from Pastebin, which unfortunately is in a DOS format. And since it's a script, we need to convert it to a Unix format. So I'm going to say apt install DOS to Unix. Okay. Now I could put that script inside this folder, but I'm actually going to put it inside our uh, CD USR local bin. So I'm going to go into that folder. And I'm going to say wget and I'm going to give it the URL to this file and say output. And I can call it whatever I want. I'm going to call it sort.sh, which probably isn't the best because there already is a sort command. So I don't want to just call it sort, but I'll call it sort.sh.sh. So that's downloaded. So let's now run our DOS to Unix on that script. Boom, it's now uh, the characters in it are fixed. And we can make that executable change mod plus x that file. At this point, uh, I believe I have everything installed that I need. I'm going to go back to my web browser or my web directory and actually go into my uploads folder. And here are all my images. So now I can say sort.sh and give it one of these files. Uh, so I'll give it this one here. That should be the first one. And when I hit enter, uh, let's see. Oh. It also needs the BC command, which is installed on most distributions of Linux by default, uh, but apparently not on this, this install of Debian. So I'm going to say apt install BC. Uh, BC is a calculator for the command line, and I've got to convert the, the GPS uh, coordinates into the proper format for Google. So that's what my script uses that for. So let's see, let's list photos. Okay, so it moved that one file into the photo. So let's go ahead and move that back. Uh, my mistake for not having BC installed. So let's try running that script again. So sort.sh or whatever you name the script and the file. There we go. So it should have created, this is the full address right here. Uh, inside our photo, photos folder, there should be now this folder. And inside that folder is the numeric. And then it should have put that file in there. So if we list photos, Tamiami Trail and that address, and we can see that files in there. So now we want to run it on all of those images. So all we have to do is say for and give it a variable. I'm going to say i in all dot uh, jpeg, and I would do the dot jpeg uh, instead of just an asterisk for a few reasons. One, um, it's going to you, you don't want to try to run this on other files that aren't images because it might cause the script to crash. Also, we also have the folder in their photos and that can throw it for a loop. So we're just going to say, look at all that JPEGs. But remember, it is case sensitive. So if your extension is a capital JPG, you're going to want to adjust that. Uh, then we're going to say do. And again, sort.sh. 
and then dollar sign i for our variable here. So that will be our file name as it loops through each file. And then we'll say done. And we'll go ahead and hit enter and it should run through each one of those. Now, remember I am using Google's API uh, for their Google Maps and they do limit you to 25,000 uh, requests a day for free. So if you need more than that, you're going to want to purchase more uh, requests. But going back to our uploads folder here in our web browser, and you can install better looking uh, index pages than this, uh, but this is just the default Apache. I'm going to refresh this. Now you can see we have our photos folder. We can go in there and now we have all our addresses and we can go into one of those and then we can click on the address there. There's the image and we can look on it from the browser there. And that's pretty much it. That's what we want to go over doing. And if there was more than one here, like this one, had, I took two pictures at the same location. My son by a fire truck, my son inside the fire truck. So those images were taken at the same place, so they were put into the same folder. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Um, I, mean, I think I kind of talked a little fast going through this. I didn't want to bore you, but it's a video. You can slow it down or pause it if you need it. But that is setting up a virtual server, uh, Debian server, and getting both these scripts running on there and installing all the requirements. It wasn't that hard. And now, like I said, with this, since it's a web interface uh, here, Anyone you give, uh, and again, you're, you're going to have to set up uh, permissions. If you're going to open this up to the world or even on a local network, you're best to do uh, some sort of login of some sort so you don't have just anybody uploading anything. Um, but besides that, setting this up, anyone with a phone or a tablet or a laptop or a desktop, anything with a modern browser can now upload files to this. And as far as running the script, uh, you can have this script for sorting them run every time someone uploads it. You can add it to the PHP file here. You can just do a system call on it if you want, or just set a cron job to run every minute that checks that folder for new photos. Uh, I mean, unless you need it instantaneously, but if you're just trying to sort files, you know, for projects later on down the line, something like a cron job that runs every minute or so, or however often that runs this, that should be good enough. Uh, which I do have videos on cron jobs. So just search my videos if you go to filmsbychris.com and it should bring you to the uh, video search. And if we just type in cron, you can see I've got two. You want to probably look at this cron tab basic tutorial. We'll go over how cron works. Uh, and actually there is um, a website. I don't know if I mentioned this previous video. I think it's called cron tab uh, generator. Go ahead and click on there and you can, this will create a cron tab uh, file for you. So if you want something to run every minute, every odd minute, you just check what you want and then it will, in the name of the script you want to run and it will generate the uh, command for you to put into your cron tab, which is very nice instead of trying to uh, look up. Because every time I use cron tab, I have to look up, you know, how everything's organized. Anyway, I do thank you for watching. Please visit my website again. It's filmsbychris.com. There should be a link in the description as well as a link to the scripts uh, that were used in this video. Go ahead and check them out. And as always, I hope that you have a great day. Oh, and also visit my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash x 1000 There you can help support my website. Again, I hope that you have a great day.